Hello guys, happy new year. I can't believe we're already in 2023. I am so excited about this year. I cannot even tell you. I actually can't remember a year that I've been more excited about than 2023. I'm not sure what it is. I'm just, I'm getting good vibes. I'm getting good energy. It's only like three weeks in and I already just feel like a shift in energy. So let me know if you guys are feeling the same or if it's just me. It's probably just me, but let me know. Anyways, to start a new year, I thought it'd be fun to just create a video where I talk about my personal style, how I felt about what I was wearing and the outfits I was putting together in 2022 and how I think that might change slightly in 2023. I also wanna share a few outfits with you guys that I am intending on wearing this year or have already worn in the last few weeks and just sort of go through my 2023 personal style and aesthetic. So I spent some time over the Christmas period just reflecting on the outfits that I wore in 2022 and just like different phases of the year where I felt really confident and really comfortable in my personal style and then also the phases where I just didn't really feel like that and I instead sort of felt maybe like a bit confused with what I was wearing. I was finding it harder to get dressed in the morning and the phases where I felt less me or less in touch with my own personal style were stages where I was trying to I guess like adapt a new trend or maybe like a new wave of inspiration because I felt like that was something that you guys might want to see from me. You might want to see me play around with new things and not always wear pieces you've seen a million times before. But it was actually in doing that that I would then feel less like me. I really don't know if I'm explaining this that well, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that in 2023, I really want to go back to basics. I want to just wear these core pieces that feel really unique to me. I only want to add new pieces into my wardrobe that I know I'm going to love for years. They're not pieces that I'm just going to wear very temporarily or wear for a season and then want to already sell or get rid of. And I guess the best way of explaining this is that I just want to really like refine my personal style even more than what I already have in the last few years. I wouldn't really say I adapt that many trends to my style anyway, but I think there's just like always room for improvement and you can always be reimagining and reevaluating and redefining yourself and your style and the rest of it. Anyways, on that note, a brand that is really timeless, really classic, and also just very in line with my personal style and has been for years is Missouri. So I'm very excited to be saying that I'm collaborating with them on this video. You guys know they love Missouri. I have been wearing their pieces for like three, four, five years now. I can't even tell you. It's been so long. Some of my favorite necklaces and earrings, bracelets, and all the rest of it are from Missouri. And I've had them in my wardrobe for over four years now. And they have not tarnished. They're still in perfect condition. And they're just a really high quality, beautiful brand. I know that you guys love Missouri as well because every time you buy a new piece from them, you always DM me and let me know what you got and how much you love the whole buying experience and all the rest of it. For this collaboration, I'm adding a few new gold hoops to my collection. Gold hoops in general are honestly my favorite earring anyway, so I wasn't really surprised to love them as much as I did. They are all so beautiful and so versatile and can obviously be worn together or separately. You can just sort of just like adapt them to suit your outfit that day. I'll obviously have them all linked in the description box below so you guys can check them out or shop these pieces or shop whatever you like from jewelry. But that is all. Thank you once again to Missouri for making this video possible. Let's get into some 2023 outfits and pieces that I'm planning on integrating into my wardrobe. Here is the first outfit. Very simple, very just easy to wear. Pretty much exactly like all the other outfits I'm going to show you today. Very comfortable outfits that really don't require that many things in your wardrobe. It's more about the proportions and just about getting the right fit for your body shape. One of my favorite combinations is honestly just to wear black on black. I feel really confident when I wear an all black outfit. So I've gone with a really simple black boot heel, something that I just didn't really seem to wear that much in 2022, but I think I will definitely start wearing a lot more in 2023. These trousers I've had for years, they're just from Vince. They're just super comfortable, super easy to wear, very flattering, and can honestly be styled so many different ways. Long sleeve black top, it is a little bit sheer, but you can't really tell, is from Arquette, and so is this brown belt, which I actually got from the men's section. And this bag is from Advene. I just love how simple, but yet well-made this bag is. It has like a magnet close at the top, and I just love the little details here on the strap. It just adds something a little bit different and unique. I also want to show you how in 2023, I'm going to be pretty much just making small adjustments to outfits that I love to suit different events and occasions. So for the outfit that I just had on, I feel like it was more suited to say like a meeting, maybe a lunch, maybe something like that. It was a little bit more elevated. Wear a style back with a jumper, a different bag and different shoes. 
I think the outfit now feels a lot more casual. It feels like something you could just wear out for a coffee date, go up to the shops, that kind of thing, running a few errands. It just overall just feels a bit more casual. I swapped the boots out for my favorite maroon Converse's. I love these Converse's just for a pop of color. It just adds something a little bit different to the outfit, but still obviously works with my neutral color palette. Trousers, belt, and top are the exact same, but I've added this jumper from Arquette as just an additional layer. Obviously, I've just added it as more of a styling piece, but you can also just put it on with the outfit, which I'll show you what that looks like. And for my bag, I've just swapped it to my La Mer croissant bag. This bag definitely can be more dressed up with the right outfit, but I typically wear it with more casual Casual outfits similar to this. For this next outfit, I have changed out the hoops for a different pair from Missouri. I think this outfit is quite simple, so it could definitely handle a little bit more jewelry, and that's why we've gone with that. Starting with the shoes, I know these are really not for everyone. They are quite polarizing, but I really love these shoes. I've had them for about six months now. They're actually surprisingly more comfortable than what you would expect and I just think styled correctly, they are super chic. I love that I have them in the brown. Something that was very trendy in 2021 and 2022 was wearing really baggy pants with tight like cropped singlets and all the rest of it. I don't really love crop tops and I pretty much barely ever show my midriff, but I did like the trend of having a baggier pant with a tighter top, but I also like wearing a baggy pant with a baggier top as well. I think it looks really cute. These jeans are from Henny. I love that they have a little bit of cargo detail through the middle there, but it is quite discreet. I've gone with a simple white t-shirt from Uniqlo. Again, this is from the men's section. A black waistcoat from Cos, and just stuck with the same bag as the last one, which is my Le Mer croissant bag. I absolutely love this outfit. It feels really me and definitely the kind of vibe that I have in mind for this year. Here is the next outfit. Again, a very comfortable, casual, just like easy to wear outfit that I intend to wear a lot this year. Starting with my shoes, you guys know that I love Converse's, which is why I'm featuring them so heavily in this video and pretty much all of my style videos. These ones are in like a navy blue, which I think adds a nice bit of color to a relatively neutral outfit. I just love the fit of these trousers. I've had them for at least three or four years now. They're from La Apt. The color of them, the shade, everything, it's just perfect. They're super comfortable. They are a little bit loose at the waist and have kind of like a drop crotch there, which I love. This jacket, you guys, definitely saw me wear a lot during 2022. I absolutely love it. It's from the Open Product. It's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe and I think it goes with so many pieces that I already have but especially with this outfit it definitely just like ties it all together and it just makes it feel a little bit more elevated and my bag is just from W Concept I'll obviously have everything linked in the description box below here's the last outfit that I want to show you this is definitely something that I would wear out for dinner to an event that kind of thing it's like the color brown did play a big part of my wardrobe last year and it is Definitely going to again this year too. Starting with my boots, these are honestly my favorite boots that I got in my wardrobe last year. They're from Dear Francis. They're like a brown croc effect style boot. This silk skirt is from Marley, which is a beautiful New Zealand brand. If you've not heard of them, I would definitely check them out. They have really high quality pieces that have got beautiful cuts and are just great pieces to add into your wardrobe. I just have a long sleeve brown top on, which is just made of cotton. That's from the Verlin. This super oversized blazer, which is from Michael Lasorto. And I know in a video at the end of last year, I said that I wasn't gravitating towards oversized blazers in 2022, and that was definitely the case. But for whatever reason this year, I really see myself kind of leaning back into that more oversized blazer look. So for that reason, I had to show you guys how to be styling an oversized blazer for this year. I just started the look with this brown bag, which is from Yusefi. I think if you could see more of the shoes, I probably would have opted for a different bag because I would have thought it looked too matching. But because you can't see much of the shoes, I think it goes. Earrings I've just kept the same as the last outfit, but I really think that you could play around a lot here with the gold hoops. When you're wearing mainly neutral, simple sort of outfits like this, you can really have a lot of fun with the jewelry and Thankfully, Majuri has a huge selection to have fun with. So anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Next video will definitely be an episode of Melbourne Diaries. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.